Hey, welcome again on this Saturday morning class. And we're going to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of yin, more yang this morning, but it's going to be a nice flow where you can also really find depth in poses, so nothing really rigid or strong or fast. Um, it's a um, sequence designed by feeling the support of life again. So just trust life and then everything will just mm, fall on its place. So just let the weight of the shoulders and when you just release the weight of your shoulders then you actually feel like ah the world is carrying me so you've been carrying by the world so let's come into a laying position and let's get started See if you can bring your feet a little bit wider, let's say as wide as the mat, and let the knees come to touch. Have one hand onto your belly, one hand onto your diaphragm, or if you prefer, you can also place one hand onto your heart. And feel the breath moving through your body. Let's start today class with just a little bit of silence, focusing on the breath, releasing any tension of the body. Simply be here. Just stop the fight. Don't fight life. Surrender. No matter what you are fighting, maybe a big fight in the real physical world or just a, a fight with yourself, dealing with perfection, control, feeling of not doing enough, enough, not being enough. All these kind of little fights are just fights with life and life is not there to fight with. Just surrender, release. Let's stop the fight. And when you stop the fight, you most likely come to a place of, ah, this feeling of, ah, there was also actually not really a fight. It was just me fighting myself, fighting life. And when you're in this fight, you don't see, you can't really see everything anymore. So slowly bring both knees towards the chest, both hands on top of the knees. If you like, just rock a little bit from left to right, or maybe make some circling movements. I have no idea what you're going through at this moment in your living room. So we all have a different practice. See if you can just do that, what's resonating with you today. And all the other things, just skip it. It's actually that easy. Why fight something what doesn't feel good? Stop the fight. Release. Okay, now bringing the arms to the side. 
And then slowly bring both knees over towards the left. Not all the way to the floor. Stay here or maybe you want to straighten the legs out. And then bend them again and bring them back towards the center. Then both knees over towards the right. Just as enough as it feels good. Stay here or straighten both legs and then bend them again. And let's do that one more time. So moving the knees towards the left. Straighten them or not, as you like. Come towards the center and the knees towards the right. And then you can bring the knees all the way towards the floor into a twist. And then straighten out the right leg and see if you can bring the right foot closer towards your left arm. And then come back towards the center and come all the way towards the twist and bring the left leg closer towards the right leg. And do this a couple of times on your own. We are just, just moving the spine here, waking up the spine, moving the legs. But don't do anything that doesn't feel good. Don't fight this pose. I suggest that you do something that feels good. <laughs> of course, don't be lazy. I'm not telling you to be lazy and skip things you don't like. No, I would not recommend to skip things. A little bit of challenge, it's nice. Okay, one last round. But don't fight it. Check your face, because your face is telling a lot about if you're in a fight or not. Now, bringing the knees into the chest, take a deep breath in and stick your nose in between your knees or just as close as it's possible. See if you can squeeze your body, squeeze your body, squeeze your body and let go. Now, only hold your right knee, straighten out the left leg and place it onto the floor. So the left leg is onto the floor, straight, and the right knee is bent, close into the chest. And then with your um, left leg, you're going to guide, sorry, straighten out the right arm first. That makes it a bit easier, I guess. So the right arm is outside again and onto the floor. And with the left hand, you're going to guide the right knee all the way into a twist. Stay here, breathe. So it's a reclined twist, they call it. One knee is bent, the right knee is bent, and the left leg is relatively straight. But if you need to bend it, it's totally fine. Okay, now we're going to do something we're going to do later in the class as well, so listen carefully. You're going to straighten the left arm over your left, uh, next towards your left ear, over your head. And then roll onto your belly. But keep your right knee bent. And then you're probably outside your mat. That's totally fine. Take a deep breath in, opening up the chest. And here we are in this kind of cobra pose with one knee bent and one leg straight. Okay, from here slowly straighten the left arm again and roll back into a number four stretch. Right ankle is on top of the left knee and interlace the fingers behind your left leg for a nice morning stretch here for your hip and your legs. And if your arms are too short, then you can always take a belt or a towel, anything like a cloth from the kitchen or a shawl, and you can just place it around your left thigh or left knee and then that's also totally fine. So if you have a lot of space, then maybe interlock behind your left knee. But all positions are great. Even just placing the left foot onto the floor. Maybe this gives you already enough stretch also in the hip. Maybe pushing the right knee a little bit away from you. And slowly bring both knees into the chest again. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, squeeze and round. Keep on breathing here. Pull the navel in. 
and release. And now only hold your left knee and straighten out the right leg and place it onto the floor. Opening up the left arm towards the side and now guide with your right hand the left knee all the way over and come into a reclined twist. Stay connected with the breath. And then we're going to bring the right arm overhead next towards the right ear. And then we're going to turn on to our belly. Keep the left knee bent. And yes, you're outside your mat. Just think outside your mat. Opening up the chest and then a little cobra here. Feeling maybe a stretch in your lower back, your hip. Also the inside of your left leg. You can always come a little bit more down or a little bit more up. If you want to straighten your arms, go for it. If that feels good for your body. And then straightening the right arm out or the left arm. Oh, I don't even know anymore. The right arm, I think. Yes, the right arm. <laughs> And then we slowly turn ourselves back, but again, immediately the left ankle on top of the right thigh or the right leg. So you can perfectly stay here, maybe pushing that left thigh a little bit away. Be careful for the knee or interlock the fingers or take the towel or belt and place it around this right knee. And here you're gently opening up that left hip. Breathe. Just give up the fight. Don't fight with life. And if you stop the fight, you will see that life will carry you on its shoulders. Very slowly we come out of this pose, bringing both knees again into the chest. One last time, take a deep breath in and exhale, make yourself really small, squeeze, squeeze yourself like a little ball. And then if you want, you can rock and roll forward and backwards a little bit. If this doesn't feel good for your body, then just stay laying down on your back, making some nice movements with your knees. Don't fight this pose. If you go a little bit more faster, then maybe you can go up into a squat position and then roll back again and come into a squat and roll back. Just a couple of nice rolls over the back of the body, waking up the spine here and just stay here into a squat. If you're still laying down on your back, please join us into a forward fold on the top of your mat. If you want, you can just drop your arms or maybe hold the opposite elbow and swing a little bit from left or right. Let's go of your elbow slowly, one vertebrae at a time. We take our time to slowly, slowly come up again. to a nice standing posture here, breathe. Come to the front of your mat and hands in front of your heart. Take a deep breath in, reach your arms up and on an exhale, forward fold and down. On an inhale, come up halfway and on an exhale, only the right leg back. Bringing that right knee towards the floor and come up into a low lunge. 
Really reach your arms up and sink the weight forward into the hips. Now inhale deep, on an exhale, left arm forward, right arm backwards. Inhale, arms up, exhale, twist the other side, right arm forward, left arm backwards. Inhale, arms up, exhale, twist, left arm forward. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, twist, right arm forward. Inhale, arms up. One last time, left arm forward, right arm backwards. Now place your left foot on the inside of your left leg. Lift up your right uh, knee and bring your right arm all the way up and opening up your right foot. So you come to the side of your right foot or not really the side of the right foot. The right foot is flat onto the earth but you change the position of your right foot. And we come here into a form of Parsvakonasana side stretch. If you have a book or a block, you can place your left hand, of course, onto something and bring your right arm over the right ear. If this is too much sign fiction, bringing the left arm on top of the left thigh is a perfect modification of this pose. Breathe. Now slowly bring both hands down on the inside of your left foot and turn all your ten toes to the long side of your mat. So I'm mooning your, you now <laughs> and I'm with my buttocks to you, but I'm sorry, we're going to make a 360 degree angle turn of our yoga mat. So we're going to face all sides here. So no worry if you're also with the, the back of your body towards the television or your laptop now. Now take a deep breath in, come up halfway. And on an exhale, forward fold and down, breathe. If you want, you can of course bend your knees or maybe lift up your hands a little bit with some books or blocks. Be creative with your yoga props and tools. But if you like to practice at home, it's really a nice investment to maybe buy a nice yoga block to support you in poses, to be able to not fight all these poses, but just more to release in them. Now from here, we're moving towards the right side of the, um, the back side of your mat, and we're opening up into a lunge position here. So you're gonna, from here, lift up into a high lunge. Take a deep breath in. And from here, we're opening up into a warrior pose. Take a deep breath in, reverse warrior. And on an exhale, wave both hands on the inside again of your right foot. And then make a little bit more space. So your right foot is really on the outside of your mat. My mat is always moving a little bit, so I'm struggling, but I'm not fighting my mat. <laughs> now place all the balance onto your left arm. You can, option one, just walk your right foot all the way towards your left foot, or you can do it in one swing. Swing your right foot on top of your left foot, and here we are in um, side plank pose. You can, of course, also come towards your lower arm. And when you walk your right foot towards your left foot, then you can also stop halfway for a perfect modification of um, side plank pose. Now let's do four dips. So we're dipping the hips, almost touching the floor, and then lift it up three more times. Dip and up. Two more dips and up. And one last dip and up. And then come all the way towards the floor and straighten out the left arm and come into model's pose here. So bending the left arm, 
or the right arm, <laughs> because this is really confusing with the left and the right. But see if you can find your balance here. And maybe placing the arm on top of your body. Breathe. If you want, you can go into a laying tree pose by bending this top leg and place it on the inside of your bottom leg. And smile and be pretty. You're a model. If you want to go for something funky, then maybe hold the big toe with your fingers and try to straighten out this leg. But don't fight it. And now bend this right knee. So if you were still here or here, see if you can just bend this right knee, hold the knee or hold the ankle and then roll onto your back. So we're outside the mat. We're outside the mat. It's probably, it's, I hope it's more nice, nicer in your living room because this living room has funky things here. But we don't fight it. We have to deal with the furniture around us while practicing yoga here. And now we're even off the mat. So see if you can come to half happy baby pose. Maybe hold the outside of your foot or your ankle and really opening up this inner hip here. And then from here, you can slowly sink really into that hip. Half happy baby pose. Breathe. And then bringing that right knee back towards the chest and come into a reclined twist. So the same thing we did in the beginning of class. So the right knee goes over. You can straighten out the right arm as you like. And also here, surrender. We're not going to fight the fact that we're outside the mat or that we are bumping against a wall. We're just surrender. This is how we practice yoga now. When the yoga studios are still closed. You have to just deal with what is there. And there's still a lot of support there. So we're going to go to the same way uh, towards the belly. So the left arm up and then turn onto the belly, but keep that right knee bent and then come into this. So probably now you're more or less more onto your mat again. <laughs> and then we're coming into this cobra pose or maybe you want to straighten out the arms. Maybe you want to look over the right shoulder, the left shoulder, slow movements and adjusting the pose to not fight the pose. Just feel and sink into this pose and we're looking maybe also seeing something different. Maybe just have a good look around into your living room seeing colors, shapes. Okay, from here, slowly bring your hands under your shoulders and come back into a downward facing dog. And then bend one knee, try to straighten the other leg. 
So we're made already a 180 degree angle turn around the yoga mat. We're gonna see all corners of the living room today. Lifting up the left leg, bringing that left foot all the way in between your hands and come up into a warrior pose or a high lunge. Then we're opening up into warrior two. Take a deep breath in, reverse warrior. And on an exhale, come back into warrior. Straighten the front leg. Come forward and down into your triangle pose, triangle pose. Both legs are straight. Both legs are in the shape of a triangle. And an inhale, come up, and then both hands towards the hip and turn all ten toes to the long side of the mat. And then bringing the heels towards each other and the toes a bit out and sink into goddess pose. Bring both hands towards your thighs, take a deep breath in, find length into the spine, and on an exhale, press your right hand towards your right thigh and look over your left shoulder. Inhale and exhale, twist. Inhale, center and exhale, pressing the right arm towards the right thigh and really twist. So left shoulder goes back, right shoulder goes forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. twist. And inhale and exhale, twist. One last time, inhale deep, exhale, pressing the left arm towards the left thigh. And slowly straightening the legs and opening up into a warrior two pose towards the front of your mat again. Take a deep breath in, reverse warrior. And on an exhale, come back into a warrior pose, lifting up that left knee and bring your arms overhead. So we're in a lunge position. We're gonna move into a standing split. Take a deep breath in, all the way into your right leg, lifting up the left. Don't fight this pose. <laughs> Stay here, maybe walk your hands a tiny little bit closer towards your right foot. And maybe hold your right ankle if you want. Pull the navel in, strong legs. Relaxing the shoulders. Pulling the shoulder blades down, back towards the back. And then placing the left foot next towards the right. Take a deep breath in, come up halfway. And exhale, forward fold and down. If you want, hold the big toes in Yogi Toe Lock. And then again, inhale, finding space into the front of your body to be able to breathe. And then keep that length, keep that space when you push yourself a little bit more forward into this forward fold. Parangustasana. And then let's go and slowly roll yourself up one vertebrae at the time. Slowly, slowly, we're not fighting this pose. Find all your balance onto your left leg, lifting up the right. Interlock the fingers around your right knee and see if you can stay here finding the balance. So option one, just stay here or walk your hands closer towards your ankle. So your hip going to open here, your knee go to the side and then place the right foot on the inner thigh of your left leg into Frikasana tree pose. Bringing your arms overhead, if you like, breathe. And then bringing both hands back towards the heart center and place the right foot next towards the left. Inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, forward fold and down. Inhale, come up halfway. 
and exhale, make a big step with your left foot all the way back, lowering down that left knee and coming to a low lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm backwards, twist. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, left arm forward, right arm, uh, left arm backwards, right arm forward. An open twist. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale, arms up, exhale, left arm to the front, and inhale, arms up, and now the right arm goes down on the inside. If you want, take that block or book again, lift up your left knee, opening up that hip, so you adjust the, 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 the place of your left foot, and then bringing your left arm over and open and spiral your, to your torso towards the ceiling. For this Parsva Konasana side angle bend pose. You can also bring in your right arm on top of the right thigh. See if you can find and feel that length on the left side of the body. Breathe. No, don't fight. Yoga is really not about fighting in the pose. It's always looking for, okay, where can I find stability and space and a feeling of freedom and trust. Okay, both hands goes down and now and we're gonna turn all ten toes to the long side of the mat. We're gonna start again with another 360 degrees turn. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, forward fold into Prasarita Padantanasana, this wide-legged forward fold pose. Breathe. And then we're moving all the way to the back of the mat. Lifting up the back heel and come up into a lunge position. Reach the arms up and sink into the hips. Opening up, warrior two. Take a deep breath in, reverse warrior. And on an exhale, wave the hands on the inside of your left leg and opening up. So we're moving from here into this um, side plank pose. So an option is to, so the weight is going to be on your right arm. You can always come into your lower arm. You can walk your left foot slowly to the direction of your right foot and stop halfway for a modification of a side plank pose. Or if you want, you really flow and you've let your left foot fly in one go on top of your right leg and come into a side plank pose. So I hope you're right here now into the side plank, you're here. Now let's do this four dips, dipping your hips almost touching the floor and up. Almost touching the floor and up. Almost touching the floor and up. And one last time, dip and up. And then come into model pose. First straighten out the right arm, finding the balance here. Finding the balance on the side of your body, feeling like a model, shining star. Bending the right arm, place it under your right head and see if you can still keep the balance. Stay here or come into a laying frikasana, tree pose, placing the foot onto the inner thigh.
And then if you want, you can try to hold the big toe and straighten out the left leg. And then bend the left knee and just roll onto your back and come into this half happy baby pose. Maybe you still hold your big toe or the outside of your left foot. You can also hold your knee. See if you can find space. And now we're also again outside the mat. Breathe, just feel different sensations. Don't fight it. Don't fight with life. Mm. Feel the rising and the the rising and falling of your belly, your abdominals. And bringing the left knee towards the chest, interlock the fingers. And then opening up that left arm and we're gonna move into a reclined twist here. That's exactly the place where my microphone is. So I need to adjust my pose to be able to not fight this pose. So please do that too in your own living room. Maybe you have a small living room and like there are furniture, maybe kids around, animals. By the way, I love receiving pictures about the living room where you are practicing. I have already a few pictures and I really want to make a collage from it because I never see the other side, but I know you're there. So you don't have to do it now, but maybe after class. <laughs> enjoy this twist, enjoy this opening, a stretch of your shoulder maybe, stretch of your spine, the hip, the leg. And then from here, we're gonna roll onto the belly again. So bringing that right arm over the head, close to the right ear, and then turn onto your belly, but keep your left knee bent. And here we are into this yeah, a modification or just a different cobra, cobra pose. Really opening up the chest as if you have a nice necklace and you really want to show it to the world. Pulling the shoulder blades down, relaxing the face. Maybe move a bit from left to right. Very gentle movement. And then from here, we're pushing ourselves back into a down dog. So bringing the hands under the shoulders, pull the navel in, strong core muscles, and push yourself into this downward facing dog. You can bend one knee, try to straighten the other, walk the dog a bit onto the spot. Or if you feel like a little bit more static pose, then just stay still and breathe. And then bringing the right leg up, bringing that right foot all the way forward in between your hands. And then come up into a lunge position, reaching the arms up, settle down into this posture. Opening up into a warrior pose. Re re inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, come back towards your warrior two pose. Straighten the front leg, come forward and down into your triangle pose. Breathe. And 
And then inhale, come up. And hands to the, towards the hips. And then pivot also the other foot to the long side of the mat. And then come into goddess pose again. Heels inwards, toes out and sink deep, pushing the knees outward, pulling the mula bandha in, pelvic floor muscles are active. And then hands towards the thighs, inhale, find length, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale, twist. Twist with your upper body. Inhale, lengthening in the spine, and exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And let's do one more time here. Very good. Slowly straighten the legs for a moment. And then come into the front of the mat again, bending that left knee, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, back into your warrior pose. And then lift up the right heel, level the hips to the front of the mat into a lunge position. Inhale, and exhale, standing split all the way. It is going to be on the left leg, lifting up the right leg as much as it goes. Don't fight it. Breathe. Maybe the nose a little bit closer towards the knee, maybe not. And maybe try to balance even with your hands around your ankle. And then placing the right foot next towards the left, hip distance apart. Maybe you want to hold your big toes, take a deep breath in, come up halfway. And exhale, forward fold and down. If you want, you, uh, you can also go a little bit deeper in the pose to Try to bring your whole hand under the feet for Parang Hastasana. But don't fight it. And slowly come out of any variation of your forward fold. Slowly roll yourself up. to a standing mountain pose. And then we're going to do the tree pose on the other side. So all the balance is going to be on the right leg, lifting up the left. Interlock the fingers around the knee. <clears throat> and maybe you're going to stay here, finding the balance. And maybe you walk your hands closer towards your ankle, so the knee goes out. Maybe you can try to place that inner foot or the sole of your left foot towards the inner right thigh. Hands in front of your heart for Frikasana tree pose. Stay here or straighten out the arms. Breathe. And slowly come out and release. <sighs> Inhale, arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold and down. Inhale, come up halfway. And exhale, downward facing dog. And then bringing both knees to the floor and come into a pose of a child. You can bring your arms to the front, alongside your body. Or you can also make a namaste with your hand and bring it in the back of your neck.
very slowly come out of this pose come into an extended child pose so lift up your head off the floor bring your ears in between your arms and walk your fingertips as far as they can go away from you but keep the weight into the hips so almost like if someone is holding your hips and pulling you backwards and someone else is holding you on the wrist and pulling you forward breathe into this length inhale through the nose exhale out with a sigh Walk both hands now towards the left. Inhale deep through the nose. And exhale out with a sigh through the mouth. Walk back towards the center. Keep that length. There's still two persons pulling your, pulling you really length inside of you. And then move your hands towards the right. Inhale deep. Exhale. And very slowly come out of this child pose and come into a seated posture. So we kind of go into a yin yoga pose now and you can choose. So option one, it's a butterfly pose where you have your legs in a shape of a diamond or a, a square. You can bring your feet a bit further or closer, whatever feels good for you. And then we're gonna just round forward. So we're not gonna put active, muscly um, breathing forward. Now that's just really young. Here we're gonna just like ah, surrender. Really, we're gonna stop the fight here. Surrender. Now option two is also yin and also rounding and also surrendering, but with straight legs called the caterpillar. Legs are really relaxed, the feet are relaxed, the toes are, are relaxed. And you're gonna just hang forward and round. In both options, it's maybe nice to have a pillow, a blanket, a towel to sit on. So you actually can really sit on that blanket to help yourself going forward. Especially when you feel that you're actually going backward really level your hips higher so you actually feel that the gravity is moving you forward and if you know the pose just go into it another thing you can do if you have blocks or maybe books to support your head on we're gonna stay here for another about three minutes. So really take your time. If you're in your living room and you see a pillow somewhere on your couch and you, you think, mm, if I would have that pillow, it would be probably more relaxed and do that. Mm, we have the time here. In this first minute of a yin pose, you're really going to settle in you're taking time to support your body but you respect the first signs the first boundaries you're not gonna push through there's no goal in this pose you don't need to gain something out of this pose you're just browning the spine and let gravity just do its work. Focusing on the breath, release any tension of the face, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the mouth, 
Relaxing the belly, relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the arms, the elbows, relaxing the wrist, and the hands and the fingers. Release any tension of your lower back. Don't fight, release. Surrender. And from here, take your last three deep breaths. slowly you can come out of this pose just lean backwards into a beach pose moving the knees a little bit from left to right or stay still really take your time to get out of this forward fold yin pose The full flexion of the spine. Beautiful surrendering pose. And then we're going to do one last pose before Shavasana. And that's also an option. Because one option is only for the people who want to flex the spine a little bit more and don't have any problem with the neck or the shoulder. If you have any problem with the neck, don't do this. You can, of course, first look at it and then decide. But when you're doubting at home, please be safe. Then, um, so I will tell you what we're going to do. And then you can decide if you want to do that. And then I have an option for the people who rather not do it is. So we're going to go into Halasana, um, but it's in the yin pose, it's called snail. We're going to bring the legs all the way over the head. And this should be still a little bit relaxed. And if this not relaxed, and I know a lot of people, this is completely not relaxed, then don't do it because don't fight it. If this is relatively relaxed, you can bring your arms also over your legs. And really let the weight come into the spine. So you're really rounding the spine. This is called snail. You can also bring your arms still behind your interlock or support your back. We're going to stay here for about two or three minutes or just as long as it feels good for you. For all the, the other people there thinking now like, what? I'm not going to go do it. Then come into a laying butterfly pose, bringing the feet uh, together, opening up the knees, and just come lay down here onto your back. So choose your option. Release.
Release any tension in the shoulders, in the neck. And if you're now struggling into snail, ask yourself, why? Why do I fight this? But if that pose feels really nice, it's a nice pose to do, then yes, stay here, feeling this full stretch on the back of your body. Just a couple of more breaths here in snail or laying Baddhukanasana, your choice. Slowly come out of snail, roll yourself back safely. And when you're in this laying butterfly pose, bringing the knees back towards each other. And both options, bringing the feet as wide as the mat and let the knees come to touch. One hand onto your belly and one hand onto your diaphragm or if you prefer your heart area exactly where we started this practice. See if you can bring your full focus towards the breath. Really listen to the sound of your breath. Feel the sensations of your breath. Feeling the rising and falling of your belly, your chest, your ribs. And then straightening the legs, bringing your arms alongside your body and just enjoy a little shavasana here on this beautiful morning. Relaxing the arms, the legs, relaxing the face. And don't fight this. Give yourself this beautiful presence, releasing tension of the body and staying present with yourself. Breathe, use the breath as a tool to stay present. Relax, relax, relax. slowly start to wiggle your fingers, your toes, moving the ankles, moving the wrists. If you prefer to stay longer, then do so. Otherwise, slowly wake yourself up and join me for a seated meditation. Choose your seat. Try to sit still. And focus.
focus on the breath. Feel the breath. If you're still in Shavasana, please join the rest and everyone else for a seated meditation. Slowly you wake yourself up. And then place both hands together in front of your heart. And then gently start to wrap your hands. And then place them as like little cups around your eyes. And then you can opening up the eyes and drink the heat in the life energy and slowly close your eyes again and massaging your face or maybe just very slowly tickle your face with your fingertips and you can do that also by your neck and your chest Mm. And then let's finish this class. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out all the air. Inhale deep. Bolo Shri Satguru Bhagavangi. Bow to that only teacher you will ever meet, the only teacher of truth, you. Bow towards yourself as you're worth it. You're so, so worth it. Now, I wish you a beautiful day without any fight, internal or external. Keep in contact, and I hope to see you for my next yoga class again. Bye bye.